Muay talent? Well, sometimes people say I piss people off, but <laughs> I could literally eat anything I want. It's a talent and just know how to burn it the next morning. My name is Ash or everybody know me as Ash. My full name is Ashraf Ahmed El Samak. I'm a personal trainer here in the United States of America, Brooklyn, New York specifically. I have been in the United States for 25 years. I came from a very athletic family, let's put it this way. My dad was military, I attended military academy. My brother is a personal trainer at the same gym with me. Being a student in either karate school or kung fu like my brother or boxing or soccer was a mandatory thing. No kids sit at home. It, it never works. So since early age, I think we were like maybe seven or eight years old. Personal trainer is a job that you gotta always understand. You're gonna need people help. People that you train, people around you, people with experience. There is no such a shame in it when sometimes you hit an obstacle. Like for always I ask about my brother, Kimo, what do I do with this? What do I do with that? And the same way it goes with him. The experience that you gain coming from the clients and other trainers, when you work out on a body, you gotta know how to work on the group of muscles together to get the best result that you want. Either it's gonna be shredding or it's gonna be bulking, like someone wanna be big. Which kind of muscle and how you hit it. Most importantly, you gotta know how to read your client. You don't want to overwork him and at the same time, you don't want him to be not really working out at all. This you learn from experience. This you take from how many times or how many clients you've had through your training session and asking people who have been in your shoes before. Accomplishing this and putting it all together, that's how you become a great personal trainer with a good reputation and great results. Today, when I work with Vivalak, I was just working technically his bench. Muscle that we work on it have a supporting muscle which is, for example, when I'm doing my benches, my triceps or front shoulder. There is some muscle is neglected unless you do a different exercise. So I might as well work it with it just to make sure his group of muscle together, getting the best result on the upper shape body that he wants. There is clients that actually believe that paying the money without doing the work, just because they are coming to the gym and they have a personal trainer, they will get the result. It never happens. I'm a motivator, I'm a pusher, but if the client is just lazy, pure lazy, he doesn't want to do the work, I cannot force him. My job kicks in is when the client feels that he cannot accomplish. He is trying, but he cannot. His will or the way he looks or how fat he is put him down. This is my job to bring him up. No, you will be able to do, you will lose the weight, you will get the muscle. You work a lot and you get really tired after finishing with all your clients, but it's the best thing and the best feeling ever, especially when someone loses the weight. I have had situations when people cannot wear their clothes to attend their wedding. I have had people that they said, the suit is gonna look too big for me. Then that look that they give to you when they actually fit inside the suit, you made it happen, it's worth a million bucks. The way people are, the way you see them, the progress, the friendship that you create, the people surrounding you and the way they look at you, the people who comes and see you train one or two person and then you come back and they come and ask for your help. This is how you become somebody. You know who you really are with how many people surrounding you caring about your opinion. Other than that, I don't think anything is important. The one thing that hurts me the most or bother me in life is when I see people thinking that harming or putting someone down is okay. That's one thing that makes me really angry. And sometimes I put myself in trouble because of it. Guys, even with a belly, they're gonna look and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Girls are very specific. You could look at the girl very fit. Oh my God, I'm fat. You know, like that's why women, when they come, they work really hard. They do their best, three times more than the guys. They could take a couple of pictures, but when they work, they work hard. Guys could say we are at the gym for three hours. Two and a half hours out of those three hours, he's chit-chatting and looking and having a drink and like, you know, 
unless you have a personal trainer because everything is on time. But girls work a lot harder than men, yes. Loyalty has been something that I lean on in my life altogether. Family. Sometimes life in the United States could take you away because over here everything is just busy. Everybody has to work. But when you realize that your family is actually the stand that you could lean on to keep going, you will know how important it is to just stay together. Not as a word. Don't let your job, don't let the money, don't let the situation, don't let your own kids take you away from your own family because family is the power that you need. Unity. Even when you're gone, they are together. They are not weak. They are not alone. So this is the best thing about it is just having your own family here.